Hey guys, welcome to the Pure and Clean Podcast, episode number 17. Today, I'm just gonna talk about gibberish. So, hey guys, um, I was out on vacation and I just returned, so I haven't been able to prepare an interesting business topic uh, about Star Citizen. I did have a topic in mind, uh, but I decided to scrap it. It was about uh, depression and anxiety and PTSD and how to deal with those things if someone in your org has it or suffers from it. Um, I felt like it was a little bit contrived, not exactly directly related to Star Citizen. And um, I just decided not to do it, even though I prepared for it a little bit. Um, I just want to let people know that if you are suffering from those things, uh, just reach out and get help. Um, anyway, that's all about that. And um, I do want to show off my Star Citizen patches that I got. I'm so excited about them. Um, here they are. Ah. Okay, here they are. Uh, I got my Drake interplanetary patch. I uh, got my RSI patch. Let's see. Um, Let's zoom in. Sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Um, let's see. Got my Aegis patch. And got my Anvil Aerospace patch. Um, oh well. And uh, my favorite one is my Misk patch, uh, which I've uh, or my girlfriend has uh, put velcro on it so now it's nice because I can get to replace my old patch screw you STS 70 you're off the backpack <laughs> and now it's officially a misc backpack so uh, so yeah that's it um, I've been um, uh, it's been really hot, uh, so I haven't been playing uh, a lot of Star Citizen, but I've been keeping up with the news. Um, a lot of exciting news coming so far. 2.5 seems to be really close. I know that a lot of people on Reddit were uh, feeling anxious about the project and uh, backing the project. But um, don't worry guys, it'll work out. Uh, I saw some news about 2.6 and 2.7 where trading will finally be in 2.7 so that's really good news for uh, the Pure and Clean organization and uh, Procedural Planet seems to be chugging along. Um, uh, another bit of news that I've read is that uh, the, the uh, Reliant and the Argo will finally be flyable which I'm personally really excited about because I own a Reliant and the Argo seems like the type of ship that would be really useful in the fleet of the Pure and Clean organization. Uh, in fact, I've been debating whether I should keep my Sabre uh, because more and more I think maybe we should subcontract a uh, 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 defense organization to be more efficient, but who knows? And uh, the other bit of news is uh, Everything about the Grim Hex area, which is this sort of new area uh, where the shops will be more varied and it'll be more uh, risky to land there. Eventually, uh, they want to make it so that uh, all areas, not just Grim Hex, are um, you're you'll able to draw your weapon, uh, which is something that I've been debating with my coworker and friend Tom. Uh, he's always like, well, some areas you will not be able to shoot, and I was like, pretty sure the intention of Chris Roberts is that you will be able to draw your weapon, but there will be heavy consequences if you do in certain areas, uh, which is sort of like EVE, you know, you had your high security areas, but uh, you could still uh, uh, kill other people, it's just, you know, it's a guaranteed death sentence if you do. So, uh, I am personally excited because I feel like it adds... Um, uh, more risk and more uh, interaction and uh, it's a little bit more realistic to have it that way so um, really excited to see that the game is going in the direction that I hoped when I backed uh, even though some players are really against griefing of any kind but uh, that's it 
that's all I have to say for this episode. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have a topic ready for you guys. Um, if, uh, as always, uh, the Pure and Clean podcast is typically a business-oriented podcast. If you'd like to check us out, all episodes air on Monday, every Monday, ahead of time. So please do subscribe and check us out on Monday. Don't forget, okay? Bye. Catholics have this system called the Nuncio system, which you can go on Wikipedia and research, but basically is this uh, network of bishops who go all around the world and they get st stationed in important political points.